Hi, it's Amy with Mama Bear Blue. Welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell to be notified when I have new videos uploading. So today I'm excited to get to use a new product by DIY Paint called Paint Frosting. It's actually a paint thickener that you add to your paint, wait six to 12 hours, and then you can use it as a texture medium on crafting projects, furniture painting projects, art canvases, I watched a video about three years ago from Debbie of Debbie's Design Diary where she did a boat wood effect on the top of a picnic table and I loved it. And I'll be sure to put the link to her video in the description box below. So today I thought I'd use the paint frosting on the top of a small plant stand that I've had for quite some time. So join me as I attempt to recreate this boat wood effect. Let's get started. To start, I chose four colors of DIY paint and I mixed in approximately a half teaspoon of the paint frosting into two ounces of the paint and mixed well. As soon as you begin to stir, you will see the paint starting to thicken already. DIY paint is an all natural clay based paint. I put them in airtight containers and waited 12 hours. I then took a disinfectant wipe and cleaned my plant stand I wouldn't be using brushes today. I decided to use a variety of tools, including a color shaper, the turquoise iris palette knives, and the paint blades by Iron Orchid Designs. As you can see, after 12 hours, the paint has thickened up quite a bit. I really like how the consistency was uniform throughout the paint. There weren't clumps that were more thick than others. This was just a very nice smooth consistency. It really was like cake frosting. And I just began laying on the colors in no particular pattern. I just did kind of a color blocking to get a base coat on. I then pulled in the opposite direction on some areas just to start blending the paint a little bit and to give a little contrast and variation. My goal was just to layer on a couple of coats of the paint frosting. I'm using my heat gun here as I go just to dry it a bit. I'll admit this was just a lot of fun, relaxing and kind of enjoying the process here and learning how to use these tools that weren't brushes that I was used to. Cleanup was easy with just some soap and water. I let it dry overnight and then I took it outside and used my DeWalt Orbital Sander to sand down. I started with a 180 grit sandpaper and then I did switch to a 60 grit just for a bit in some specific spots just to go a little deeper to get down to the actual wood. Um, I do remember that I had painted this red before I painted it green so I was happy to see some of that red popping through in some spots. When I was done with the sanding I wiped it off and then it was time for one of my favorite parts to apply the finish coat and I chose Big Top and applied two coats. Big Top is a very durable sealer. It is not an outdoor sealer, however, so if this is going to be outside, I would need to put a weatherproof sealer on it, but this is actually going on a back porch or in my sunroom. I'm really happy with how this turned out. The paint frosting created some amazing texture, and I'm looking forward to using this product again for some raised stenciling and some craft projects as well as some canvas art. Thank you again to Debbie from Debbie's Design Diary for your inspiration on this boat wood look. Debbie has a great tutorial on her channel on how to create this look. Be sure to check out her video link in the description box below.
you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and comment below. Let me know if you've had a chance to use paint frosting yet and what you've done with it. For all the DIY products I used in my video today, you can visit your local DIY retailer or my website, mamabearblue.com. Thanks for watching. So today I'm going to be using a new product by DIY Paint called Paint Frosting. And it is a paint thickener. It's an additive. It's a paint thickener, an additive. It's a paint thickener. It's a paint thickener that you add to your paint and you let it sit six to 12 hours. <sighs> Waylon.